In today's video, I'm going to give you a complete beginner's guide to the Bundler product bundles Shopify app. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and install the app onto your Shopify store. So just go to the Shopify app store, go on type thin and then click on the install button here and it should go ahead and install onto your store. You'll have to lastly click this button here and then you should be ready to go. Now from here, it's actually pretty easy to go ahead and start using. At the top here, we have just one button, which is create bundle. And we're going to want to go ahead and click on that button there. And we've got a few different options here. So we have classic bundle, mix and match, volume discount, sectioned mix and match, and tiered mix and match. Now you can see some of these are locked. That's because you need to upgrade your plan for that. So you can go ahead and upgrade it and they give you a seven day free trial. So I'm just going to click approve on this. Now, once we've approved it, we can pick which type of bundle we want to do. I'll show you what each of them look like. Now, we'll start with the classic bundle here. And you can see there's a lot of information that you might want to go through. Starting off with the bundle name, this is what will be displayed at checkout. So we could say um, combo box or something, you know. We've got the title, description. We've got the price template. Now, these are dynamic, so it means original price and discount price. These will change dynamically based upon the price of the product. So you might want to leave these as they are. You've got your add to cart button text. You could change it if you want to. You can change it to claim your discount. And then you've got um, some other bits here that you might want to change around. Next up, we've got the actual discounts here. So this is the discount they'll receive on the bundle. So first of all, we've got a percent discount. So this can be 10% off. We have a fixed amount, which can be a currency, so like £10 off. We can do a discount on a product, so £10 off a specific product. Or you can do the bundle will be a specific price. Or you can just say there is no uh, discount. Now, I'd recommend doing a discount to incentivize your customers. And also giving free shipping is a great incentive as well. So what we can do next is we can go ahead and select if we want the um, bundle, to, bundle to be on a product level or variant level. And this means a product level means that um, different variants will be underneath and variant level means that um, variants will be displayed as standalone products. So depending on you know your brand, this can be different for you. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to select the products. Now I only have one product on here. I'm going to click add. And if we put a quantity, we can have two in the bundle. But it's usually good to have multiple products on the bundle. Next up, we've got the discount conditions. So this is the conditions that the customer has to do to go ahead and get the discount. Number one, we've got buy all products in the bundle, which is classic. Next, we have buy minimum slash maximum number of items for the bundle, which is the mix and match bundle. And lastly, we have buy required non purchase non discount products. So it means you have to buy other things basically. Now select whichever one you want to, and you can also keep uh, read this if you'd like. Next up we have the landing page contents. There's a little bit of text that's going to be on the landing page. And we can go ahead and select if we want it before or after the product page or the product bundle. And we can go ahead and save the bundle. Now there's also some other recommended apps they have here, such as seal subscriptions that you can go ahead and actually um, use as well. So I'm going to go ahead save. Uh, I just need to add the price in actually. Let's put this in here. Save bundle and now we need to go to the product page and actually see if we've installed the bundle properly. Now for me I think yeah this is the bundle here. You can see it's all working properly. We can go ahead now and just press add to cart on it and just test out that it's actually working and you can see Yes, the bundle's working. It's got a total saving. It says combo box here, which is what we set earlier. We want to come back onto here and just press yes. I can see the bundle and just say everything's fine here. And if you want to, you can add a review onto the app store for them. You've also got some colors that you can change here. So if you want to go um, and change the colors, you can go ahead and do that and just press save. The next thing we need to talk about is the settings tab. There's a lot of different settings in and I'll briefly walk through what they all do. So here we've got all of the different settings for each of the different um, widgets. So that will be things like titles, colors, 
things that get displayed. And you can just basically go through. They have it, they do pretty well explaining what everything does. Then you've got your volume discounts, which means if people buy multiple, they get discounts. You've got your colors. So this is going to be your global colors of all of the different things inside the widget. You've got your funnel settings, which again, you've got your color settings. You got your subscriptions and this app integrates with seal subscriptions. So you will want to go ahead and use that if you're selling some kind of bundle subscription product, which can be very useful. Then you've got the um, discounts in the cart so you can turn that on and off you would like to you you should probably definitely have this on we have the bundle listing page so it's sort of like a product page the bundle landing pages discount pop-ups again you've got text uh, info discount modes and then we have the integrations which again you can add stuff like your Facebook pixel you can integrate with your your page builder you've got um, seal for subscriptions there's a lot of different integrations you've got here which uh you know make it run smoothly so your store doesn't have to miss out on certain things and now if you have uh, you know some some reason you want to embed some code you can copy this here and you can use this code here to paste this somewhere else which is pretty useful lastly we've got advanced that's like css and then we've got the uh, enable in online shop and then we finally got the plans, which we looked at earlier. That's all basically the settings. And the next thing we need to look at is funnels. So with funnels, you can basically go ahead and create a funnel for the bundle. If you select a bundle in here, select that, save that. You're going to have now these funnels. And it's basically a way of you creating a sort of landing page, which is specifically tailored to your uh, bundle. So you can see here, funnels are a fantastic way to promote your bundles on the cart page or other pages. It will basically monitor your customer's cart and it will basically offer them the bundle. So it's a really great way of basically upselling to them. We next have the analytics section. So you can actually see how effective everything is, um, but uh, you're going to have to upgrade to go ahead and get those features. And then lastly, if you want to integrate it here, this means that you can use it with um, in-person uh, sales so you can go ahead and use your bundles there but that's basically how you go ahead and use the bundler app i hope you found the video useful if you have any questions regarding the bundler app then let me know down below and if you have any other questions regarding any other shopify apps that you'd like me to cover comment down below and i'll go cover those for you so you can get the best information thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video